Yeppers. That would be a jack-o'-lantern. They popped. At least some of them. The one thing I see, okay. This is just a pile of compost that I'm germinating these pumpkin seeds in. And the only downfall I see to this method is it is difficult to keep these piles of compost moist like I just got done watering okay so now they are wet well here's a pumpkin seed that floated up that might have been in the compost previously but I've noticed it's extremely difficult to keep these uh, moist these piles moist so I'm having to water them a lot because the water's going through and then there's that gap with the uh, alfalfa straw or hay so as long as I can keep them moist it looks like this is gonna work but we'll see because I have to I have to keep that sprinkler on these for a long time because I need everything saturated so that they can go as long as possible before I water again but uh the real reason I'm making this video, I just happened to look over and see that, but I, I'm planting uh, shallots today, and uh, I know that they say to leave the very top exposed, so we'll see. I've never grown shallots before. I mean, it's similar to an onion, but these things are, uh, they're supposed to be relatively very touchy. So, I guess if you find a good method, then you should stick with it. So, we're trying this. Uh, you can see, I got my usual super dense layer of alfalfa. Okay, and then I just, I just open up a little area. And, like, this one has two, two of them in. But next one, we got like one. And there's no reason for that. I just had made a bigger opening there, so I just put one. Or I put two in here and then one in there. But yeah, things are coming along. Yep. Starting to get more views. That's right, Peggy, I'm talking about you. That's good. Share the word. Because pretty soon we're going to have tons and tons of veggies. All right, that concludes today's update on shallots. I hope you all are happy farmers out there. Take it easy. Later. <laughs>